Hi, what's up guys, today I'm going to talk about the coolest OS on the point phone. What's really cool about it is, for example, uh, let's say I want to listen to a YouTube video. I haven't bought the premium, but I have an equivalent. I'm just going to go to my scripts, review the audio. I'm just going to search, for example, some uh, uh, do more music. Uh, let's see. So yeah, it's loading, but at the same time, I'm just going to check my audio uh, because I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, so I'm using the speaker, so that's cool because I could like use the headphones, etc. Uh, so I'm just gonna exit this menu, and now I'm just gonna select the first one. Okay, so I have my music playing. Um, for example, I could like edit the brightness uh, or the volume like that. So it's pretty easy. Uh, let's say I want to watch this terminal li window, but I want to multitask. No problem. Uh, it's automatic, but I don't like this layout, so I'm just going to put that under. Uh, I'm just going to, for example, pop up the keyboard and search for Wikipedia. Uh, I'm just going to type wiki because it's much faster. I'm just going to open it. So, uh, I want to read this page carefully. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to put that in full screen. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. It's, well, it's still loading. Have no idea why, but like now uh, I could open like Firefox or any other web browser in a new new page. So I'm just going to do that. Um, okay, so I have a special menu for every apps I use. So I just press the po the volume up one time. Now I could zoom in. Have a new tab, new window. Uh, zoom out, uh, pipe the URL to a command, so let's say I'm watching uh, any video on the internet, uh, I could just have it on YouTube DL, uh, I could also download a, a, a video with a password, but I would have to change the command a little bit, uh, because like encrypted videos are supported by YouTube DL, uh, so yeah, uh, now I, I want to turn it off, no problem, I have several mods, so I'm just gonna uh, turn it off like that and as you guys can see the music is not playing so let's say I want to turn off the screen but keep everything play everything in the background no problem I'm just gonna do that so yeah it's working now I want to turn off the screen but disable the input so yeah now I can't click anything so yeah I'm just gonna press the power button a few times and now it works uh, so yeah it's a really cool OS it's uh, it's really smooth. Uh, you have some touch features. It's yeah. Uh, I really like it. I like it really much. So okay. So what's cool about this phone also is that uh, let's say I want to use it as a desktop. No problem. I have this adaptator. I can just plug the phone in. I can have my own internet uh, Ethernet um, cable. Uh, for what for fast connection, I can have my mouse. I can plug in a keyboard. I can even charge the phone at the same time. It's displaying all these stuffs. Uh, what's really cool also is it's you don't have that in many phones. Uh, like you can remove the back, but that's not the coolest thing. Like you, uh, right now, like this thing, uh, it allows me to disable the camera, the modem. It's like if I unplug them, it's a physical switch. So that if you're panaro paranoid, you don't need to uh, have this silly paper stuff. You just turn it off like that. Uh, you can also have a keyboard with a huge 6000 mAh battery. Uh, it's going to be released really, really soon, Pinefold says. So it's it will be like a desktop. You will have your keyboard, you can close it and have a physical keyboard with a huge battery. Uh, also, you can boot from your own SD card. So you can have potentially an infinite internal storage. Um, it's not external storage because the OS is onto the SD card. If I'm running out of current, I can just remove the battery, have another one, etc. That's why I really like this phone. Um, SMS and calls, etc., are working really fine, even on this minimalistic OS. I have a, a password also, oops, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah. If you want to use it as your main daily driver, I wouldn't recommend it because it's not compatible with a lot of Android. It's not compatible with any Android apps. Um, it's really cool OS. Even though the phone has some 2012 performance with this OS, it's really smooth and everything works fine. But yeah, there are not many developers yet. It's still a kind of testing platform. 
so yeah that was it and see you see you next week maybe guys peace out